little turbulence. Oh, hi, sorry. I was playing with my little plane, which actually reminds me of an interesting math question that involves actually a plane. This is actually about an airline where they actually fly from Houston to Chicago. Let's take a look at it together and see if we can have some fun thinking about the math. Here we go. So this airline carries about 750 passengers from Houston to Chicago each day. The question is, how many McDonnell Douglas MD-90 jets would be needed to carry that many passengers? And then how many empty seats would there be? Well, this seems like a really tricky question until we see this great chart which shows us lots of different types of planes and how many seats we actually have on each plane. So if we're looking for the MD-90s, we see we have 160. So this table tells us that we have 160 seats on each one of these planes. The question is, how many planes do we need in order to to carry the 750 passengers. So this is really a question about division. We want to take 750 and divide by 160. That's going to tell us how many planes we need. So before we actually perform this division, we can actually estimate to get a rough sense of how many planes we might need and how would we do that? Well, one way to do it is just to, to estimate. And so let's find a, a, a compatible number. So let's find a number that's compatible to 750 that's near 160. And if you think about it a little teeny bit, it turns out that a good compatible number would, in fact, be 150. Because 750 divided by 150, that one's not too bad. If we work that out, we'd see that we get a quotient of 5. So what that means is that 5 is our estimate. It means that we would estimate that we're going to need around 5 airplanes. But now let's make that precise. Let's be really precise and see what the actual answer is by actually performing the actual division at hand. So here we go. We're going to do this live. So we're going to take uh, 750, and we're going to divide it. I love making this little symbol by 160. And so here we go. Well, uh, 160 divides into. Um, uh, 750, four times, and what is 160 times four? Well, that's 640, and now remember the rule is to subtract, and if we subtract, we see 110 which notice is smaller than 160, which is good, and actually that is the remainder. And so what we see is the answer here is we get a quotient of 4 with a remainder of 110. So that's the answer. The question is, what does it mean? Well, what it means is that we need four planes. We need four planes that will be totally filled right, with 160 seats all filled. But then we have an extra 110 passengers left. So what do we need? It means we actually need a fifth plane. We need a fifth plane. So we need a fifth plane. And so here's what we've got so far. We'll need to have five jets to carry the 750 passengers. Four of them are going to be filled to capacity. And the fifth one is going to carry the, the extra 110 remaining passengers, hence the remainder. Now, there was a little bonus to this question. Remember what it was? It asked, how many empty seats would there be? You know, here's a great wrong answer. A great wrong answer to say, oh, well, it's the leftover. It's, it's 110. That's what they want us to say. But we got to think through. Those are the remaining people that need seats on that fifth jet. So that means that that jet 
holds 160 passengers, we're only going to put in 110 passengers. So how many seats are empty on that fifth flight? Well, let's think about it together. We've got 160 seats. We're going to use up 110 of them for the remaining passengers. So now I have to subtract, and when I subtract, what do I see? I see a difference of 50. So in fact, 50 is the number of empty seats we're going to have on that fifth flight. So very sneaky. OK, but let's not take off from this question quite yet, because I want us to ask, is our answer reasonable? Well, the great thing is that we actually took that little moment to find an estimate at the very, very beginning when we started thinking about this together. And now, let's see if that estimate is, in fact, reasonable with our answer. Well, remember, we estimated, by finding a, a compatible number of 150, that we would need five jets. And what do we see now? Well, now we see, in fact, we need four full jets and then a fifth jet that's partially full, not totally full. So in fact, we do need five jets. And that's exactly what our estimate was. And what we see is that the reason why it wasn't exact was because we didn't totally fill up that fifth jet. So while the answer actually turned out to be correct, we know it's not five full jets. It's four full jets and then a portion of the fifth jet. And so this actually was a really, really good estimate to the actual answer. Well, the important thing here is that by thinking about what the question is asking and the information that we have, we are able together to figure out what operations we need to actually use, in this case, division and then subtraction, to be really careful that we're answering the right question when they asked us how many seats were actually going to be empty. It wasn't the 110 remaining passengers, it was the stuff left over, which we saw was 50. But by thinking through the questions and by thinking about the math, we are always ready to take off to the next math challenge. Have fun thinking about math, and I'll see you soon.